Hey everybody, it's Ellie, Hot Mess Mom. Today we are having a new adventure in the Terrell family and Charlie is getting braces. <laughs> <laughs> so today Charlie got braces Aww. and he wanted to show everybody the live action complete uh, picture. I, uh, uh. We are choosing to drive to Dr. Mary Keiko and Orthodontics in Goodlettsville and um, we have a long time relationship with her and love that office and all the people in it. So I just thought we'd film our experience. So our appointment was at 9 o'clock this morning. We woke up bright and early and we're ready to go. Star Wars! Okay, Charlie, what's happening today? Today I'm getting my braces. How are you feeling? Mm. Uh, uh, my stomach is kind of, kind of has a little... Maybe it has some butterflies in it, but I'm ready. Okay. Tell me about your shirt. Uh, last time we were here, we got the orthodontist shirt. What's it say? Just keep smiling. And what's that sound like? It sounds like it's from Nemo. Yeah. Let me see your teeth. Here's your before. Get in there. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's go. Charlie has um, sort of a small mouth, larger teeth are coming in, and there's just no room. A lot of people have said, braces, he's only nine, that's awfully young. And, um, you know, my attitude is we're preventing worse damage from happening. So we're not having to correct mistakes, we're making room for, for teeth to come in correctly. So he was pretty pumped. We got to the offices and waited maybe five minutes before we got to go in the back. And there were lots of little things that I liked. Again, my husband and I, neither one ever had braces, so we really didn't know what to expect. Um, but when we got in the back, uh, there are TVs everywhere. There's a huge aquarium, you know, really nice, comfortable things. Charlie um, got to have a blanket over him. I was cold. I was kind of jealous. He got to have a blanket over him, and Glenn and I got to sit there and watch the whole thing, so that was fun. Amazing. There was one point where they were um, shining, or they had glue on him, and they were trying to set the glue with the light, and Glenn and I were both just staring at the light, and Audrey looks up and she's like, don't look at the light, it'll hurt your eyes. So the first thing they did is they cleaned Charlie's teeth, and they put some product on it. I think maybe she said it was etching or something, but the child's teeth are whiter than I've ever seen anybody's teeth in my life. And so they did that, and then she had those, like, I can't remember what she called them, but it looks like that game, like, Shut Your Mouth or whatever it is, where it hurts your tree shot, <laughs> and you have to say something. That was, that was pretty funny. Um, but he had those on, and she put the stuff on and washed it off, and then started attaching the brackets. And that didn't take really very long at all. All right, I'm just gonna use this section. I'm gonna set it in your mouth and you're just gonna bite down on it. So after the teeth were all cleaned off, she started attaching brackets and um, Audrey called Dr. Cohen over every once in a while to just sort of check the progress. Okay. Okay. You're doing awesome. Turn your 
We got all the brackets on and then she offered to put the colored bands around his brackets. Apparently for the type of brackets that he has, those aren't necessary, but they're just kind of fun. So he picked red and black, I'm assuming because he's a big fan of Kylo Ren. So we have Star Wars themed braces for the moment. Okay, if y'all will just look over this. This top stature insurance initial there and sign there. I'm gonna give you this folder. Did you ever get one of these? This. So the part I was most nervous about was putting that wire on and it really didn't take very long. It didn't seem, he didn't seem uncomfortable, but she did have these like big pliers with like kind of, she said she was crimping them maybe. My terminology is going to be all kinds of off, but so that it doesn't move around. And, um, and then after that, they put the, I don't, the wire on, I guess. I don't know. And that was. Um, but he popped right up and was like, they don't even hurt at all. Now, since then, it's probably, he's probably had him on about an hour and he's like, oh, he can kind of feel it a little bit. Um, he did have some Tylenol in the office, um, but lots of other cool things happened. So after we had our braces put on, then we had an opportunity to watch an instructional video and it gave us um, a clear picture of how to take care of the braces, what to eat, and all that kind of stuff. Hi, I'm Carol, and this is Heather. Hi. And this is Jack. Hi. And we're the SWAT team. That stands for Straight White Attractive Team. You mean we don't get to fight the bad guys? Not exactly. We're here to talk about a very important subject, keeping your teeth, gums, and braces clean And then after that, that Charlie got a little gift bag from Dr. Cohen, and it's got the, it's funny, it's got the Under Armour logo, but there are braces in the middle, and it says, we built the smile, and then at the bottom is Dr. Cohen's logo and information. And so I thought I'd go through everything that they gave him to take care of his braces. So one thing we've already used was a little certificate for a free scoop of ice cream from Baskin Robbins. So that made this whole adventure a little special. And then here we have a just a little kit and in my mind this I'll probably send to school with Charlie because he's supposed to brush his teeth after meals. Um, some of this will go in our bathroom but there's just a little travel size toothbrush. Um, some wax, or no, some floss, some wax, a large toothbrush, or a regular size toothbrush with this little doohickey attached. 
a couple of other, I don't know what this is, thing, things to brush your braces with. Um, just lots of options for cleaning these teeth. This makes me excited. Like, I wanna, I wanna do that. And then another um, floss threaders, which we'll look at that. But this is all um, combined together. So here's pretty much everything he needs in one little thing. So I'll probably write his name on there and give it to his teacher for him to have at school. There's a decent chance that on the day that he gets his lower braces, I'll just take him back to school that day. It depends on how his pain goes for the rest of the day today. So other things were extra wax. And so this is to go on the bracket. If the bracket's rubbing the inside of your mouth, you kind of put that on there. Like you would brush your teeth and take a little piece of wax and put it on the brackets that are bothering you to give your lip a little bit of a break. He got some new vanilla mint toothpaste. Special just for him. Me. It's a pretty big tube there. Chapstick, which some of this is just promotional, but I know the chapstick, um, that'll help with any agitation. That's money. And then he got several packets of these um, floss threaders. Can you see it? And so you stick the floss through there. And now it's gone. So this one has to go in the trash because I've touched it. You stick the floss through the hole and then this goes like behind your braces so it gets the floss behind the braces so that then you can floss the teeth so that's one option for flossing more wax and a couple she said there like the um christmas trees there's a name for these but i don't remember what it is so they just call them christmas trees <laughs> christmas tree brushes so we have plenty of these as well the only thing that we talked about that we don't have here um, was floss that comes with like a firm end so that you wouldn't have to use the threader and so it would just like it's got like extra wax on the end of it so it would just go behind your braces um, but yeah I think we're pretty set up for success so my husband just went to the grocery store to get some ice cream and some soup and some special things for the next week or so and so today we just got the upper braces and Charlie you'll go back in 10 weeks and get the ones on the bottom and I think in a little while Charlie's gonna go watch Rogue One and relax it's called Christmas, <laughs> Christmas tree and so you see the wire uh -huh. right there it pokes in between the wire and brushes your teeth in there yeah and gets the food out wait and then, what is this? and then I've got a mirror. What is that little toothbrush? Okay. That, show, that lets you see the, the back ends of my teeth. Probably that little toothbrush. I don't see the back of them. Oh yeah, I do, I do. Can I see? We're looking at the back of his teeth. I can see them. I can see them. Play, love your braces. What is this for? That is a travel toothbrush, so it goes on like that, and then you can open it and stick it on the bottom. <gasps> that is not fair. That stuff is not fair. I got here. What's this? These are. <laughs> Made. These. What? are floss loopers. So I stick my throw my floss through the loop, okay? Then I stick it in between the wire. Then I then I pull then I hold on to one end of the floss and then pull this out with the other end and Mama, can you then my floss is in there. Okay. So Charlie's had his braces on for about two weeks. How's it going, Char? 
It's going good. It's kind of tearing up my mouth. It's not bad, but I can live with it. It's not very bad at all. So when you say tearing up your mouth, what do you mean? So it'll like put scratches, like small little scratches. Sometimes they'll get a little bloody when you're brushing your teeth. Where are the scratches? So, on the inside of your lips? Right now, I have one here. Well, no, we don't want to see it. Back up. And on my bottom lip. How do you have it on your bottom lip? When I close my mouth, the brackets scratch it. Okay. What could you put on there so that it wouldn't be so scratchy? You've got some you could do, couldn't you? Mm-hmm. It's called wax. So why haven't you been putting wax on it? Because I can't ever find it. If I handed you some right now, would you put it on there? Probably. Okay. Good to know. Um, how is, do, like, do the bra other than the scratches, do the braces hurt? Like, do your teeth hurt? Sometimes they'll feel a little sore, but it's not bad. Okay. Um, what about brushing your teeth? What are your thoughts on your tooth brushing situation? Uh, it's good. Like I said, with the scratches, they can get a little bloody, and you'll see it on your toothpaste, and it'll be a little creepy, but I sometimes think it's funny. But what about flossing? Is flossing, how do you feel about that? That I like. So, on the video, uh, You'll, ha you'll see the floss loopers. They're little blue loops. And so there's instructions on how to do that. What do you like about it? Um, what I like about my braces is I get to have lots of food I don't get normally. So Like what? Um... Well, we'll have ice cream more often. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Did you like um, Dr. Cohen and the people that put your braces on? Yes, they were very nice. I think my mom is adding a picture of that in there. Maybe. <laughs> okay. And um, in a few weeks, we'll go get the bottom braces on. What advice would you give a little a kid your age that was getting that's getting braces? What would you tell them? Um, I would say if you keep them clean, like really clean, your braces and your teeth, um, you'll get the, if you don't like them very much, but you clean them really good, uh, it'll get off s as soon as possible. Good. I'm going to have... All I know is I'm going to have mine for a little longer. Yeah, it'll be a while. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Say, find me on my social medias. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Bye.